Wallingford back again with another special cigar pairing for you today and today oh my goodness man this is one of the reason why this is a special pairing is because this is the essence of watching Charles Wallingford this is the essence essence of why I do these videos and there's always an example of a brand being really good a lot of people don't know of the Lord Calvert by the Castro Brothers is a, a perfect example. This is a cigar. I'm not going to let the cat out the bag completely. Made by a very, very well known and expensive cigar manufacturer. So we'll talk about that when I come back. And then we also have the J. Mossman. The J. Mossman is a killer. Uh, scotch whiskey it's not a single malt but it's a blended scotch whiskey and it's not the price that you would expect to pay for a a um, for the quality that you're getting in, in a, a scotch usually a scotch has to be much more expensive than this right here to be this good all right again I'll get back to you once this cigar and distilled age spirit experiences a little bit more mature. Okay, and we are back for a little bit more. Getting me through the last segment here. All right, guys. To let you know right now, what kind of pairing do we have? We have a 94 pairing. That's a perfect pairing. That means everything would work together really well. Um, it, it can't achieve anything past a 94 because it did not give me brand new flavors that I wouldn't have if I put these two together. Sometimes when you mix two ingredients, no matter what it is, it's gonna give you a, a flavor that couldn't have happened any other way. That's not what happened, but a 94 is really, really good. And a 94 says that is the optimal amount of amplification of flavor when these two hit. When these two come together, they're making each other taste so much better, and that's exactly what happened. But before I get into the pairing I want to take the time out to talk about this cigar and uh, this cigar is a very special cigar this cigar the Lord Calvert it's it's it has a very long story I'm gonna keep this keep it as short as possible because I don't want to make the video too long but one this cigar is from Castle Brothers Castle Brothers it's the same company or the same brand rather that my cigar lounge that I worked at previously check out that video if you haven't seen it my experience as uh, working at a cigar lounge the cigar lounge I worked at is called Davidus and they had their own line of cigars Castro Brothers were the, was the uh, brand and the individual cigar I'm smoking now one of them is called the Lord Baltimore Lord, I mean excuse me Lord Calvert which, much like the Lord Baltimore, which they also have, is um, reminiscent of one of the founding fathers of Maryland, because Castle Brothers is based out of Maryland. So Lord Calvert is one of the founding fathers of Maryland, and that's not the best part of this cigar. The best part of this cigar is who put this cigar together. This cigar was blended by, let me make sure I say it right, uh, Hendrick Hinky Kellner. If you don't know who Hendrick Hinky Kellner is, well, this is some cigar nerd stuff for you. 
that is the master blender for Davidoff. So what do I have right here? I have a Davidoff cigar, that's right. Um, I'm not a big fan of Davidoff. Davidoff to me are cigars that are expensive to be expensive. I do like uh, the late hour. The late hour is great and I do absolutely love the uh, Davidoff Nicaragua. But uh, other than that, I don't, I don't usually mess with Davidoff. But this one, this is one I absolutely am happy to bring out to you guys to check out. I highly recommend it. This is a great cigar for an awesome price. For $168, you can buy a box of 20. If you know anything about Davidoff prices, Davidoff prices, there's no cigar for 168. What did, I, did I say that right? Did I say 168? I think I said that wrong, but 168. $168, you can buy a box of these. You can also, I don't think you can buy individually if you live outside of uh, Maryland. If you would go into the shop, you can buy them individually. I think they just sell them by um, boxes, but it is absolutely worth it because you're getting an extremely high quality cigar that's not, like I truly believe that's maybe overpriced. Great price. Now here's the thing, if you do decide to pull the trigger, pull the trigger quickly because there's not a lot coming out. They're, they're, they're finished with their, I don't know if it's an agreement or whatever, but they're not making any more of these. So what am I smoking today in particular? This is the, uh, I believe it's Grand Corona, or Corona Grande or something along those lines. It's a Corona, it's a five by uh, five and a half by 46 gauge cigar. Um, the breakdown, the wrapper is a Ecuadorian, Ecuadorian sun grown, a binder's Dominican Criollo, 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 yes, Criollo, and the, the filler is a Dominican seed, I mean, Dominican Cuban seed. Let's talk about the flavor. The flavors you're gonna have, it, it's, um, gonna have toasty hay leather and a little bit of almond nuttiness it's really nice when it, it comes out and again it's very easy easy to smoke cigar the uh, strength is I haven't found anything on it where it's saying what level of strength I'm going with medium I can't ex I don't think it's anything higher than a medium and then the, with the cigar I'm smoking it's not a large cigar it's not going to hit you hard. It'll be over by the time it starts to hit you, if it hits you at all. So a newbie may enjoy it, may not, because unfortunately, when you have cigars of this caliber, it's subtleties that really come out. But this would, for the for the price, this is a good place to start if you're going to go with a more expensive cigar. All right, let's go over to Jay Mossman. Jay Mossman, I found this on a whim. I did not know what I was getting. I was just guessing. And honestly, it's the same thing that got me into the Marine Corps. It's the same thing that got me to check this out. I like the outer, outer appearance. I love the Marine Corps <laughs> uniform. And I said, I gotta be a part of that. And the outward appearance of this it delivered. It absolutely delivered. For less than $50, you have an extremely high quality scotch. This is a blended scotch. It's not a single malt scotch. And for years I had been uh, pretty, I had a, a strong prejudice for um, blended scotches because usually when a blended scotch is cheap and cheap is around $50, it's usually bad. A cheap scotch is usually bad, and this one is great. It's not good, it's not okay, it's great, and I highly recommend that. The flavors you're gonna get from that are the, of course, that butter, nice, nice butterscotch, um, gonna get orange peel, and uh, that pie crust toastiness weird I don't know why it has that but that pie crust is there the cooked pie crust 
just the pie crust is there, and it, it, it is really nice. And it's a, a rated, well not rated, but the alcohol by volume is at 40. So it's it's of course blended whiskey is going to be that way, but super smooth. Absolutely, really, really nice. I really like the presentation on the palate. Really nice, really nice. Now let's talk about the pairing together. Let's talk about the pairing. The pairing, they work together so well. Um, a lot of times I've been wanting to do this and I keep forgetting to say this in my videos. I'm gonna say this right now. Just because it didn't get a 95 to 100 that does not mean it wasn't an absolute fantastic pairing that um, that I want to put out. Uh, what I'm trying to say is sometimes just because it got a high score doesn't mean it wasn't extremely enjoyable. This was extremely enjoyable. This is one of the most enjoyable pairings I've had in a, in a very long time. And it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. And that's what I was referring to earlier was this is the kind of thing I want to bring out to you guys when you have absolute diamonds in the rough. I really pride myself on showing off all my videos. A lot of times cigars that, and not just cigars, anything I talk about, things that aren't usual. A lot of people won't watch this video. A lot of people won't watch this video to this point. But those of you who are watching this video to this point, you have to understand this is the epitome of Charles Wallington. I want you to see things that the average person would not see, the average person will disregard. So if you see this in the store, pick it up. Pick up the Jay Mossman, pick it up in the store, and if you can, pair it. Pair it with the Lord Calvert cigar um again i got this in a smaller ring gauge i i like ring, smaller ring gauges for the most part i think you get better flavor out of smaller ring gauges um they have slightly larger sizes if that is that if that's what you would like but i would suggest checking this uh ring gauge out and again it is very limited quality quantities so gentlemen ladies thank you for watching this video that's the pairing if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and if you liked it, you may as well share it. And one last thing I keep forgetting, you can also help, please help support the Charles Wallingford channel. I have a Patreon account I just set up. Please uh, check me out, help donate. If, you, if you're interested in just making a one-time donation, you can also look up Charles Wallingford Charles period Wallingford at gmail.com on uh, PayPal. I'll take, uh, would love to have a, a donation that way, and that will go directly to the production of these videos. Nothing, none of this will go to buying new cigars. It will all go to the production of the videos and making these videos a little bit better. All right, I'm Charles Wallingford and the Jay Mossman and the Lord Calvert. How I was spending.